This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. MasterCard officials say the Bahamas is one of the top destinations in the Caribbean, calling it one of the best markets for them. We have a strong commitment uh, with the Ministry of Tourism uh, and that's why we are looking uh, for ways to enhance the acceptance uh, in the island and focusing on the uh, micro merchants uh, especially who are in the need to, to provide these services. The Ministry of Tourism has also dubbed MasterCard as the official card of the Bahamas. In other business news, executives at the Grand Bahama Shipyard boasted of its success to its more than 250 staff members during its annual mid-year review. So far, the yard has been full in January, February and April, and more than 50 ships have been repaired. The company's CEO, Carl Rotkirch, says the shipyard's success over the last five years has also created financial growth for the company. Overall, they believe the prospects for the rest of the year look strong as the yard is reporting a steady flow of business for the rest of 2014. And in international business news, Apple is requesting a retrial after a California jury ordered Samsung to pay the U.S. company $119 million in damages for infringing on two of its patents. Apple had been seeking damages of $2.2 billion after accusing Samsung of copying five patents, including the slide-to-unlock function. The U.S. company also filed a permanent injunction to prevent Samsung using the patents it was found to have infringed. Samsung filed court documents too, but the contents have not been made public. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gatterly.